Hey guys, we decided to make us a, a ER20 wrench. Then we was trying to figure out how to get it attached down to make the outside shape. So we come up with this uh, fixture plate. Uh, we're going to use the face mill to do the majority of the milling of this. It's going to be interesting. I uh, thought we might show you. All right, well, here we go. We're really wearing out this new face mill. Uh, go, to, go to the override for the spindle and take it on up to 2000. F12. Yeah. We override the spindle just a little bit. For when we start our, we actually done a 2D adaptive uh, with the face mill being the, uh, that sounds a lot better. We actually done a 2 day adaptive clearing with the face mill. So we're going to see how that runs. Oh, the lead in and lead out. That extended, yeah. but it still slowed down. Oh, did it? Yeah. Part of the lead in, lead out. So we did face mill this piece of material just to get it squared up and ready. So after this gets done, it should take off with the adaptive right from the split to face mill, which we're going to be doing uh, 30 inches a minute, 40 thousandths depth of cut, so, or 50 thousandths. getting pelted. That was a little odd. Not sure what that was, but I feel like I don't have to smooth it. Oh. Those are thick. They're hot. I tell you, this may be an eBay cutter, but I have really, really fell in love with it. It's just pure price, I think. hit four amps on the spindle right there. So we're almost got it maxed out. That is hilarious. I love when it gets that way.
like you'll see in one of our previous video, we did upgrade our tool selection. We are fully up to 20 tools now. We've got drill trucks and a couple other things here uh, set up now. Glad to have all the tooling change and all the drill bits finally in some trucks. Instead of having to retouch off Z for every drill bit that we do, for every drilling operation. So we entered this, this, this cutter's got round inserts. We entered all the radiuses and everything on it. And it looks like it's taken into account really well for what we have. I tell you, this cutter is way easier on the old mill with the coupler than the old than the fly cutter is. That's for sure. And this should be our final step down. Get that little nit. Er <laughs> All right, now we're going to do a tool change. What are we going to? The half inch? We're going to the half inch three flute. Uh, here in a second, the master is going to call that up and tell you tell you exactly what tool we need. We need to load tool number one, half inch, three flute end mill. We're going to end that, put that in, and uh, we're going to hit go again. All right, here we go. This one we're going to be running at 25. Oh, you may have to override, yeah. We're going to set it back down to 100%. 100. Yeah. Evidently, we left it at 2,500. This is going to clean up our shoulder that this is going to set on. Oh, you couldn't ask for no better that time, buddy. We weren't sure how much to leave where the round insert is there as far as the cleanup path. So that's our final cut.
down and get the little circle. This is a 5 16 knob that we left sticking up here to fit our other holes. So hopefully those came out pretty round. Now we're going to do a uh, eighth inch drill bit and we're going to set it up to drill and tap the two holes. So. so we're going to call out number tool 20. Please, oh, nope. nope. Spot drill. Spot Sorry. Drill. We do have the spot drill set up, tool number four. We're going to go and spot drill those two spots. We set our spot drilled, I think, 40 thousandths deep because we're using such a small drill bit. Now we're going to change the tool again. Now we're going to put in tool 20. Let me fetch that. And we do have them numbered over here on our board. It ain't quite exactly what we want, but we're getting there. Very good, bro. Tool changer to come. <laughs> Tool changer is coming. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna see if we can build a manual one to set on the table and the machine go pick it up. Uh, we'll see how that goes. So we didn't have a uh, a 3 16th drill bit set up already. So what we've done, instead of fighting our way of changing out things and changing to that, we're going to drill this 8 inch hole, and then we have a 3 16th four fluid end mill that we're going to run down through it. So... And then we did do the deep drill cycle at a hundred thousandths per step. You almost got the wrench on the nut, Brian, before she stopped. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so now we're going to change to tool three. This is a carbide four flute three sixteenths end mill from Lakeshore Carbide that I bought on probably a year ago. I only used it one time to mill a little slot. So we're going to run it next.
This is probably one of the uh, most elaborate tool changes that we've done as far as how many tools we've used in a setup. We usually don't use this many. Well, we've never had this many to use, so. And we use the drilling cycle on this just like we would for the drill bit. That's why we decided to drill it first, because we knew it would definitely pull out the edges. And there it is. Fixture plate's made. Uh, we'll clean it off and see if it fits. I shut the air off here. The piece of lumen that we use for our fixture plate is just one that we had laying around, so uh, there's still a couple shavings in it there, but oh, that's pretty nice. Just a little bit of wiggle, but not much at all. We We've been used to using these used tools, so we took out an extra two thousandths of radial stock. Right, radial, not axial? Yeah. Yeah, we took out a couple extra thousandths just to make sure that we'd uh, make it there, and it looks like it did come out a little bit smaller than we anticipated. But we used a brand new end mill, so that kind of makes sense. Cool, cool. I like All right, guys, we'll, we'll bring you back, show you a wrench when we get it finished. Thanks. Later.